Hi guys, it's Ruthie and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be making a custom palette in Clip Studio Paint. Now, I know I have done this before, um, but it was in Photoshop and I used the, uh, the filter with the mosaic method and I do really like that method but I don't think you can do it in Clip Studio Paint so I decided to come up with a different way to create custom colors and use them for a swatch palette so what I went ahead and did was picked out I started with the rainbow and I picked out one color and so I pretty much I mixed two colors and blended them together to get one solid color and then I put it into my swatch folder so here I am taking my colors and then I am blending them and then I just pick up the color with the eyedropper tool which you can use the alt or option button on if you're using a mat or um, windows and you just click the little drop and plus button the drop plus button I don't really know what it, you would call that but it was in the um, folder <laughs> so you can do this with as many like so many colors if you wanted to um, there is a, there's like an unlimited possibility to when it comes to colors so this is actually um, super super easy and it's it, honestly it was a lot of fun to do just kind of something to do um, really quickly uh, so yeah So you guys don't have to do the color of the rainbow, um, you can do just like oranges, reds, purples, blues, whatever you guys want to do. You can do like some sort of theme, like a fall theme, a winter theme, or anything like that. Uh, so you, this is totally personal preference when it comes to making your own palette and the colors you like. I went with a pastel palette, um, and I think I, I might try and do a more saturated, but I actually have like some already pre-programmed um, like palettes and stuff on here so I probably will just stick with those when it comes to the um, saturated colors If you guys are interested, I did make a downloadable um, image of my palette that I made. It did include a couple extra colors in there for you guys. Uh, you can download it through the link in the description box below and just download it to your computer. And you can put in the image on whatever um, software you're using and just use those colors and put them in your swatch palette. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this um, quick video uh, and I will see you guys Thursday. Bye!